New tonight, next week, drivers in Rockford will notice changes to the current one lane roundabout at Auburn and Maine. And this is all part of a pilot program that began in June between the city and IDOT to see if a reduction in lanes would lead to less accidents. Our Samantha Soto joins us tonight and Sam, what's new in this next phase? Brittany and Dylan become Monday. The city of Rockford will be removing the traffic control barrels ahead of the Auburn main roundabout. While some drivers are uncertain about the change, the city is staying optimistic. Come Monday, in an effort to reduce the amount of traffic accidents at the busy intersection, the Auburn main roundabout will still operate with a single lane, even though it's created some headache for drivers. Oh, it's definitely helped like the flow of things when you're driving it. Um, it does cause a little bit of traffic. So like the side streets, they see a little bit more traffic than normal. We are aware that there has been some additional delay out there at the intersection. The, the question becomes, is the reduction in accidents worth the delay that's uh, that's happening out there? In the first three months of going from two lanes to one, the city says it has seen a 50% reduction in accidents with no injuries. City traffic and development engineer Jeremy Carter says most of the accidents beforehand are from failure to yield or improper lane usage. Because if, if drivers just, you know, obeyed the, the rules of the road at the roundabout, we wouldn't have the inter we wouldn't have the accidents and we wouldn't be you know, looking at, at this uh, pilot program. People that live near the roundabout are hoping to see drivers continue to follow the traffic patterns without the traffic control barrels. I hope so. I think it would cause more accidents if they didn't, but I'd like to think common sense. People can follow the rules of the road. Despite the uptick in traffic, both residents and city leaders remain hopeful. When it is a little bit of a backup, uh, they do come on our side streets and sometimes they just blow through the stop signs. It's the only like, main concern, but for the most part, I mean, this itself is good. I'm, I'm optimistic that our drivers are going to obey traffic laws. And the program is being evaluated in three month increments with the next phase looking at how the roundabout operates in winter. The city will then make a decision come spring on whether or not they are going to continue the project. Brittany.